Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. Today I want to share with something a little bit different than a card or a project or anything like that. I want to talk today about organization. I see a lot of questions posted on various groups on how do you organize your dies or how do you organize your paper or how do you organize this or that. Well, I just want to give you a little background about my craft room. I am in a very small craft room, so space is very valuable to me. Um, and I, today I want to share with you on how I store my dies for my Big Shot and how to keep those organized. So um, in front of me I have several stamp sets. Uh, this one I'll discuss in a minute. And I also have in front of me the package that dies come in. Now this particular die or set of dies go with the Carols of Christmas stamp set. And to me, it's very confusing to go to my big shot, rummage through a box, try and find my dies, see where they're at. And being in a small craft room, I just don't have the space. So this is the solution I came up with. What I have done, it's taken the Carols of Christmas stamp set and put the dies inside of them. Now, a couple things I want to show you about this. Um, all my stamp sets, I want to say 98% of my stamp sets are photopolymer. So they, they fit in a DVD case and I don't put the backing on the stamps because it doesn't stick to the block blocks very well. So I just keep this in here in case down the road I do sell it or whatever. But I took a, an, a magnetic sheet. These I got from Walmart and spent only like two or three dollars. And I cut them to fit inside the stamp set. Okay. So all my dies and the stamp set are together. The other thing I have done is on the front of your stamp set, you can write card front builder thinlet dies. That way you know what dies go with what stamp set. Now something else I just thought of as I'm going through this is you might also want to put off on here the number of dies that are in your, in your set. That way you can always double check if you lose one you can double check to make sure they're all there. And you actually, you can find this when you get, when you get your dies in, uh, out of the Stampin' Up! box. Um, our dies come in this package, and on the back it says what it is. But if you look at the paper, you're going to have, you're going to see um, the name, uh, some tips on running it through the Big Shot, but if you go through all the language, down here at the bottom on the back, it says quantity 11. That means this, this particular die set has 11 dies. So you can write 11 up here beside it. And then after you're done using it, you can go through and count to make sure you have 11 dies. Okay? And I put them together. The other thing I've done, uh, and this is more with my Jars of Love stamp set. I've done the same thing, but any extra cutouts I have, I stick in here as well. Now, um, one of the things I have considered is would the dies being smushed together harm the stamps? I've never had that problem. So um, they just all close up, they stamp together. I've got to label this one yet, I haven't done it, but um, it's all together, it's all here, and then it can fit along with your shelf, uh, with your other stamp sets. Now, um, there's a, we have, Stampin' Up! has circles, squares, stitch circles, different die sets, okay? And what I did was you can order the blank DVD, I call them DVD holders, and I've taken magnetic sheets and I've cut them to the size of the DVD holder, and then, um, I have just put them, here's that extra one, you know, just put them in here. Um, the, 
the Walmart magnetic. Okay, a couple of cons about the Walmart magnetic sheets. I don't think they're stiff enough. Um, see how kind of flimsy this is? Now, I don't know if the ones from Home Depot or Menards are more sturdy. Um, and this one, nope, I didn't do it to this one. Um, now, this one I've attached to, there's that adhesive on the back. You peel the label off. I attached it to a piece of cardstock, scraps cardstock, and it kind of helps. But um, I still think they're a little flimsy. But again, like I said, with a small scrap room and keeping things together, um, this is the solution that I have come up with. And these are all, now these are my basic shapes, my circles, labels, my squares, um, scallops, stitch squares, that sort of thing. And they just all fit nicely in here, like so. And you can decorate the front of it um, with uh, just those seed labels. You know, but these are basic shapes that I use. I use them all the time, and they're always in here. And again, I can put them up with my stamp set. So, um, same thing with the coffee cups framelit dies. I put them in with the stamp sets. Just cut a sheet of magnetic and set them in here with it. And then, if you do down the road sell it, um, what I have done with the uh, with the sheets is I just put them in a box and I can put them uh, in a closet or somewhere that um, I can get to them and then I can put the dies back in here and send that with the customer that's you know purchasing the dies. So, but anyway, I wanted to share that tip with you today. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'll try and do this weekly because I've got a lot of little tips that I've discovered with such a small craft room. And once I clean the craft room up, I'll show that too. So again, thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye.